bring you the finest content and today's no exception because we have literally done my longest drive of the season because we are at Portland versus the Petersfield. So look at the cove. Yeah, drive oh. time wise. <laughs> at Portland United, um, very nice I must say, um, very social pubby feel, lots of tables, lots of space for loads of people to come in on match days and that, um, it's open during the week so it gives the club a bit of income during the week as well, um, situated in the ground and you can actually see the ground directly outside the windows there, which I don't know is a good thing or a bad thing because you could just spend the whole time up here drinking whilst watching the game, um, got a good selection of beers, my dad would like it then, your dad would actually love it, um, <laughs> Good selection of beers on tap. I've got myself a Carlsberg. Craig's having a Thatcher's Gold. Only the one though, he's driving. Um, come, to about, come to about £8.40, which is quite a reasonable price, again, for football. Um, lovely bar staff here, they're very friendly. Um, they do food in the ground as well, and you can buy a selection of merchandise behind the bar. I think there's a woolly hat up there you can buy as well. The uh, clubhouse itself decorated with lots of pictures of shirts and pictures from Portland's teams over the years, which I always find quite interesting when I come to these sort of places, just to look at the history. Um, but yeah, overall, very nice clubhouse. Very, very nice. Definitely well worth a visit. Matt Lucas, chairman of Portland United FC, tell us a little bit about the club. Yeah, good afternoon, gents. Anyway, good to have you here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, Portland United, I, well, I've only been chairman here now, actually, for, um, for just coming on three seasons. Um, but uh, what I will say, it's a, a wonderful community club um, and, uh, you know, it's uh, very well thought of in the area. Um, great volunteers, um, a great support, both home and away. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, I think what's so wonderful about it, we've got people who've been involved in the club for so many years that are still with us. And, um, you know, we've got new people coming in as well, but it's a real community hub and uh, it's just such a special place to be. And teams like, you said community teams like Portland, how important are they to local communities? Oh, I think massive. Um, you know, we have a, a, a great bar. Uh, we've had a recent extension as well, which is really good. And, um, you know, it's a club that's open most evenings. Um, you know, we've got darts up here. You know, we have different events, um, different sort of activities every week. Um, and I think that people enjoy coming up to see our first team, our reserves and our under-18s. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's what a lot of people really look forward to. And I think it's such a, you know, so important to be able to offer um, a football club to the local area. And uh, we're always looking at trying to engage um, the local people of Portland. And off the pitch, I mean, on the pitch, sorry, this season, it's currently six, three points off that playoff of this season, going really well for you. Going really well. Um, you know, it's well documented locally that we're a club that likes to give um, youngsters a chance. Um, we're not the sort of team that will go out and try and find the best players and bring them in and pay goodness knows what sort of money. Um, you know, that's not to say that we can't do that in, in, in one or two cases, but we, we, we decide, you know, we feel it's right. Our vision is to, uh, is to stay with folk um, and try and nurture them, try and bring them on try and bring them through the free team structure that we have with the under 18s, the reserves and the first team and we're so pleased that we see that week in week out that there are players that come through, play for each of those teams and uh, you know we get so much satisfaction from that. So in a way I think we're a little bit ahead of where we thought we would be um, but none of us are complaining, we're very happy and uh, you know it, the, uh, that fifth spot is going to be an exciting spot to go for this season. There's lots of clubs looking for it, and we're right in the mix of that. And um, you know, we just can't wait. We look forward to every game. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. We Not appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you.
probably about the 50th vlog that we're going to be filmed where it's raining <laughs> but hey ho yeah. it wouldn't be a gold diggers trip without it I know we keep saying it but yeah I don't think we're going to be as lucky today <laughs> but before we get on to today's action first order of business after Minty's sacking from the gold diggers group <laughs> this morning we are currently looking for a vacancy for a third member so applications please send them to myself and Matthew on Twitter and we will make a decision during the summer because sorry Minty but so today's order of business <laughs> what a probably the, in terms of time probably my longest drive so far this yeah. season nearly two hours but we've had a nice look around Portlandville yep Matt's even sung the tune as well as you will see later on in the vlog but also it's off new ground today so this is about ground number 16 in the Wessex Premier for me so I've nearly tick, ticked all of them off my list but also it's probably my first time seeing Petersfield this season as well I've only seen Portland yeah. once so two new entities for me but old Matthew's going to fill us in here with a few of his stats Right, well obviously Portland United are sitting sixth in the Wessex Premier League at the minute. I think they're about a point off Brockenhurst, two points off Brockenhurst, I think, with the game in hand. So they're, they're fighting for that fifth playoff place at the minute, fourth playoff place, fifth in the league. Um, they lost four games, they um, lost 2 0 to Stoneham, lost 2 0 to Porchester, but have won 2 0 against Laverstock of Ford, which is a good one because they're both battling for that playoff yeah. space. And winning last week 2 1 at Portsmouth. Greg Broth Portsmouth's their top score of 14 23 suspended today, so he's not playing. Who else? Yeah, Craig wanted to see him play. <laughs> um, but they've got some good players in the squad. Joe Wickham coming in from Shaftesbury, he's got 7 and 34. Now, here he's playing as a defender at least. When they signed him, he was more of a forward player. So that could be quite an interesting one. Ben Morris, I thought, was very good against Hive when I went and watched him play. He scored a really good goal. Unfortunately, I missed a little bit of build up <laughs> on camera. But um, he's a decent player and he can add something to their team as well. But they've got Aidan Shepherd up front, who's got 12 goals with Verwood this season. But he's moved around a fair bit. He's yeah. been at Downton, he's been at Blackfield. And he, maybe he's finally found a home at Portland. He's got two in 15 games. Ryan McKenna. Ryan McKechnie, who isn't playing today, has played over 350 games, which I think is a rarity at this level for the club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think he could be missed today. I'm not sure why he's not in the team, but there's probably a reason. Petersfield, uh, last season's playoff winners from Division 1, beating Milton in the final penalties. They've gone for a bit of a change. Um, they've managed at the time. Um, Pat and Joe have gone on to manage gospel. They're doing very yeah. well with them this season. Um, solid mid table, though, aren't they? Yep. First season. First up. season in 11th spot. Um, they lost four games. They won 2 1 against Laverstock and Ford, won 3 1 against Baffins, lost 6 0 to Moneyfields and 2 1 to Blackfield. Their top scorer this season is Tommy Tierney with 11 goals. He's coming from Horndean. He played for them when they got promoted last season. Jake Thompson from Stoneham's also there. And um, Kean Alcock, I think, is one of the players to look out for for them today. Excellent. Here's to a good game. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Murphy. We are due a nil-nil at some point this season, other than the first game. But not really much to report here. Hopefully the second half is going to get better, which will cheer Matt up somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can tell us a bit about the few chances that have been this half. Uh, Kieran Alcock come close for Petersfield, um, laid back to the edge of the box, just put it wide. Um, Joe Wickham and I believe number seven for Portman, whose name escapes me, didn't get my phone out really, um, combined down the right for Portland. Wickham put the ball into the box, cut it back across the area. And it, um, it was Connor Bent who hit the bar for Portland. That's the closest Portland to come to a goal. A um, couple of half chances here or there, but it's been a tight game. Very stop start, a lot of players yeah. going down. So it's not really flowing the game no, at the moment. No, no. And I think both teams are sort of cancelling each other out in a way. They are a little bit. result you wanted but not a bad performance overall yeah look it was kind of a strange game um, mm. in the first half it looked fairly open um, with regards to both teams were obviously keen to, to try and try and get a victory um, from our point of view just a bit disappointed in the final third really and I think that's probably the difference between you know uh, mid-table and pushing on for the playoffs to the top four um, it's just being that efficient um, and um, look, we, we couldn't get the goal that, that we were craving. Um, I thought their game plan was brilliant. I thought they set in really well. And the, you know, they tried to um, dictate the game from the central areas, forcing us out wide. Yeah. Um, in the end, we'll take the point. We're not disappointed. If anything, it shows the progress we have made. Because um, I believe, you know, a year ago, we probably concede there and lose 1-0. Um, so we'll take the positives out of it. Um, it was two substitutes of the best chances in the second half. Um, JB Symes and Jack Dills. Unlucky of the over a kick. Those yeah. going? It's yeah, it's one of those ones, isn't it? You, you don't call them a chances, really. Well, in, in terms of the overhead kick, that's a half chance, and he's made a great connection. Yeah. And, and funny thing is, he scored on Thursday night or something like that. Um, <laughs> and then Jamie, you know, Jamie's a centre half. I just felt like we needed to be a bit more direct in the second half to give us a chance to put, get in their box. Yeah. Um, and possibly, yeah, that's the one, isn't it? The screaming chance that you think, I think that he should have done better, and he does as well, and he's kicking himself in there. But again, I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> 
I'm not going to focus on, on, on the negatives today. I think it's really important that as a club we continue to push and we're doing really well um, yeah. and we're making huge progress. So um, hopefully in the next game we'll be able to turn that around and, and hopefully get the victory. Well, looking for that playoff push towards the end, you've got a game in hand on Brockenhurst. Um, Hoping obviously to win that one, but is, is that an advantage to have the games in hand or would you rather have the points on the board? I think for me I'd rather have points on the board, but yeah. I guess that's just the way I feel. However, um, for us we're just taking it, you know, each game as it comes because our ambition this season, I'm just being honest, wasn't to get into the playoffs. Um, now that we're here, now that we're fighting, of course we're going to do everything we can to try and compete yeah. and get there. Um, but it, for our lads, it probably just takes a bit of pressure off to say go and enjoy the remaining games and let's see what we can do. We know that Blackfield have picked up a lot of results lately, you know, in terms of the turnaround yeah. for them. So um, we know Tuesday night will be is just as difficult. Probably a very much a different game um, with regards to how it was today. So we'll um, we'll just have to assess everyone, see how they are over the weekend, and then go again. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, guys. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Right. This is the first, and very much the final time. I'm going to let <laughs> Matt pick a game for his birthday week because next season it's my turn. Mm. Well, full-time score, nil-nil, on a positive note. The last 20 minutes did pick up a little bit. There's yeah. a few chances, yeah. mainly to Portland, a little bit more urgency in the game. But all in all, as a spectacle, not the best game I've seen this season. Both teams pretty much cancelled each other out. Both lacked that little bit of firepower up front, didn't they, today? Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought the two number eights actually for both teams, Jake Thompson for Petersfield and Josh Williams, the captain for Portland, had quite good games in the centre of the park. But yeah. I think that was kind of sums the game up a little bit. They were trying to best drive things forward and maybe there was that, like you said, that lack of firepower for both teams at either end. But it did pick up second half. Um, it was the substitutes who had the two best chances for Portland. <laughs> Jamie Symes had a header just over the bar. And um, Jack Delves had quite an acrobatic attempt that uh, Ellis, Ellis Grant in goal did very well to save, I think. Yeah, or well, maybe it was a bit more for the cameras, that reaction, <laughs> I thought. But all in all, at least he stopped it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, oh, no, um, I mean, the, the, the less said about the game, the better. But on a positive note, it's been a good good, good experience in terms of being well looked after today, yeah, yeah, yeah. by, by yeah. Matthew. And also... All the staff have been welcoming. Oh, God, yeah, been and shout out, it definitely is probably the best programme we've seen, isn't it? This yeah, season. We so about that, yeah. Well worthy of, of the award. But yeah, lovely clubhouse as well. Can't yeah. say, yeah, even though the game's been disappointing, the overall experience has been okay, which is all that matters. Hey, Matthew. Indeed. <laughs> I, still, I still detect the hint of sarcasm there. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be with you next week. Um, where we'll be covering the Dorset Premier League game and we'll be covering Hamworthy, isn't it? Hamworthy yes. United yeah. and just to get a bit of a story on them in yeah. their recent time. So that'll yeah. be quite an interesting Saturday. Yeah. Until then, adios. With me to the rolling sea where the weather's calm and still. We'll have some fun and adventures with Portland Bill. About this